At an airport, there is a set of traffic that might be missed in between all of the attention-grabbing airplanes. They are ground service equipment, or GSE, and the Port of Seattle is working with airlines to protect air quality by going electric. One of the triggers was the cost of fuel starting to increase in 08, 09, and it became a little bit more of a reality. The carriers saw an electric uh, future for their GSE and helped, helped to reduce uh, fuel costs. Uh, the port really supported the program to help with the human health and environmental impacts that uh, replacing gasoline and diesel vehicles with electric can provide. A grant from the U.S. Department of Energy through the Puget Sound Clean Cities Coalition helped launch the project. Another grant from the FAA will help fund the rest of the project. When fully completed in 2015, there will be 576 electric plug-ins servicing the entire airport. These are actually uh, smart chargers, fast charging and smart. So as the carriers start adding more and more vehicles to the charging system, it's able to meter out what vehicle needs the most charging and give it preferential treatment. The new stations will encourage airlines to buy ground service equipment such as bag tugs, belt loaders, and pushback tugs. Collectively, airlines are expected to save up to $2.8 million each year. The environmental benefits are significant. In terms of just fuel reduction, if we see a pretty substantial adoption of electric GSE here at SeaTac, it would be approximately a million gallons of fuel savings a year. In addition, the effort will reduce the emission of 10,000 tons of greenhouse gases annually, making this traffic something to pay attention to.